guys check this out it's got auto like a, you can download this um thing and it blocks ads and auto likes you can block channels they're just um, add-ons you use On a crisp Saturday morning in Sydney South, a group of bikers is preparing for a ride. They're members of a pro-Russia club called the Night Wolves. Their nickname is Putin's Angels. We join because of the bike, so obviously you can't join the club unless you're on the bike. That's the first thing. We all got common interests. We don't do drugs, we don't do weapons, we don't do any of that stuff. Ah, <laughs> bullshit, I bet you they do. We just want to show the world or the Russia or whatever, whatever you want to call it that Russia had a... They personally mightn't do drugs, but they'd have their hand in it. We're trying to keep it up. The Night Wolves are among an international network of patriots determined to remind the world that Vladimir Putin's Russia is a force to be reckoned with. Putin sees such organizations as a significant asset in pursuing his particular goals, whether they be domestic goals or foreign policy goals. You can use the Russian diaspora, the Russian community, to seek to build your influence and then use that influence, it is to be hoped, to shift Australia's policies. Russia makes no bones about it. In Russia, Putin has left a brutal crackdown to crush pro-democracy protesters. Similar has happened in Australia for the last two years. While in Australia, it's part of the New World Order. Now look who it is right here. Look who we've got. His supporters are determined to shout down Putin's critics. There he is. Supporting the president. Supporting Vladimir Putin. Cossack. Against this opposition. There he is. Scum. Why would Russia care about Australia? Russia cares about Australia because Russia cares about everywhere. The fact of the matter is that Russia is aware of what's going on in Australia and certainly does Патриотически и мы делаем как бы мероприятия посвященные памяти памяти to Europe as well as other parts of the world. Publicly they're doing a whole range of activities from organizing Christmas shows for disadvantaged children. Ben Banditos and the Nomads did that too. To, uh, what they describe as patriotic rights um, normally associated with commemorating um, major historical milestones. But more recently, certainly over the past seven or eight years, they began really positioning themselves um, as, as, as public supporters of. Очень рад вас всех видеть. the Russian world. Australian Cossack Society, which styles itself as a military unit. Today's ceremony uh, is very significant. There he is. Since, uh, the 1920 uh, Great Russian Exodus. And what are the Cossacks in Australia here to do and to achieve? The purpose of the Cossacks in Australia is to preserve Cossack traditions culture, values, and also to promote pro-Russian sentiment. And I've been accused of that, but I'll say it on camera. We have no problems of admitting that we are pro-Russian. Boykov leads a small group of dedicated Australian Cossacks. Boykov's leadership has been controversial. At this meeting, filmed by the Cossacks and posted on YouTube, 
He is reappointed for five years after fighting off an attempt to remove him. So he's pretty high up and everything. <laughs> saw this a few years ago and I saw something on YouTube tonight about foreign governments and stuff. And you people believe him and trust him? I do all the time is to, to be mobilized and be active in defending Russia. Some people, they think, oh, well, you know, assimilation and so forth, and we can't do much to help Russia. We believe that it's not enough just to be Russian. You must support Russia. You must actively support Russia, and you should defend Russia. So what about Australia, eh? Led groups of Australian Cossacks to Russia, where they fired guns and visited a military training facility. This is why he had the firearm provision order placed on him. We have a unique opportunity to support Russia from within an enemy state. See, there you go. He's referring to Australia. He said Cossacks in Australia could pursue a pro-Russian position, lobby politicians yep. and members of parliament. That's what he's doing. Oppose anyone who lies about Russia, attacks Russia, or imposes sanctions. Basically, they can wage an information. So that's what he's currently doing, and he's doing this against the Australian public. Australia, in this context, a state which is placing sanctions against Russia and behaving in an anti-Russian manner, um, you know, in that way it could be perceived uh, that the activities are not the activities of an ally. The main thing to know is we're not against Australia at all. We love Australia. We will defend Australia and we'll try to defend it. And we want to facilitate the rehabilitation of Australian relations. See what he's saying? This isn't good, guys. This isn't good. And you guys are all supporting him. This is not good. I'm not going to play too much more of the video. I'll leave the links in the description for you to watch. But. Unhappy about this. I mean, up to this point, Russian Australian relations had very much been about trade and cultural contact. Suddenly, it became much, much more conflictual. And suddenly, we had the Australian uh, sort of very much pushing for independent investment. So, there he is there. And everyone is supporting him. I've been very yeah, cautious. I've been I've been sitting back watching, and I, I just don't trust these people. Something is going to happen. As I said in my other video, look how he's sitting there. You know, like all of those Moloch uh, people do. And then look here. Eight hours, nine hours ago, the Australian government has officially incriminated itself with YouTube paper trail proving that they have actively been resorting to government censorship against the Aussie Cossack YouTube channel. I, as a Cossack, we received a legal complaint from a government entity regarding your content after review and following your content has been blocked from view on the YouTube community sites listed below. Who will Australians with migrants' backgrounds vote for? So, not good. This content's not available in the country Germany due to a legal complaint from the government. You guys have been hooked wink, hooked winked by this guy with his loving, happy, jovial personality, and you're ruining the country for it. It's unreal. Stop listening to these idiots. I don't mean to offend people. I understand that, yeah, they have a have good point of view, but you're doing it all wrong. Protesting like this is wrong. You, you don't do what they did with the flag in, in taking down the um, government office flag and raising the uh, other flag and then taking it into parliament, um, a foreign entity. Not good. Stop listening. Stop listening to him and following his shit. It's insurrection, incitement. You're going to end up in jail, guys. Stop it.